Oh, really? Yeah. What's that chair made out of? Mahogany? Hey, watch. I'm a... You know, it's it's fine. My fiance wants all brand new stuff anyways, and that's all going to the dump. Wait, really? Is it cool if I take it then? Yeah, you actually can take the whole set if you want. <laughs> yes. Sweet. <laughs> What about these? These straps too? Oh, um, sorry. It's Lisa. Leave a message. Hey, baby. Uh, I've been trying to call you all day. Just miss you, and look, I've I've been really thinking about it, and I uh, I really feel guilty. So I think I'm just gonna go to Marcus and tell him everything. But I want to talk to you first, okay? So please call me back whenever you get this. All right? I love you. So the packages? I'm pretty sure those are office supplies. Yeah, you can throw them in the trunk. It's uh, for my new business that I'm starting up. That's great. Yeah. I didn't realize Louis Vuitton sold office supplies. Oh, hold on, L let, me, let me see that. It says it's for Lisa Miller. I'll just take these boxes for now into the truck. Yeah, yeah, please. Um... She got a Gucci Louis Vuitton. Um, Marcus? What, what are you doing here? Moving out already, I see, huh? Yeah, yeah, I am. I am. Yeah, it makes sense. Now that you have dad's money, you can do whatever you want now, huh? Yeah, actually, I'm really busy. Now's not a good time. Could you come back another time? Yeah, sure, no problem. By the way, congrats on your engagement. Oh, thanks. How, how, how did you hear about that? Through the grapevine. But it would have been nice to hear from my bro from, you know, from himself that he got engaged. Uh, unless you're trying to keep it a secret from me. No, no, I, I didn't, I wasn't, I just... <laughs> Sorry, I got just a lot going on. <clears throat> oh, so uh, what's your name again? Uh, Lara. That's her name. Yeah. Oh, Lara. That's funny because um, I heard her name was Lisa. Oh, yeah. Uh, Lara is just the little nickname I call her sometimes, you know? Right. Kind of like honey, sweetie, Lara. Yeah. Okay, got it. Yeah. The, the same Lisa that helped dad with the will? The same Lisa that coincidentally Met dad at the coffee shop that daddy used to always go to. Where are you going with this, Marcus? You can drop the act, Jacob. I know what you did. You know, Marcus, I got a lot going on right now, so if you could please. You're really unbelievable, aren't you, Jacob? You convinced your girl to help dad with the will. Switched out the first couple pages after he signed it? When that's not... That's not only wrong but it's illegal. Can you give us a minute? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right away, yeah. Okay, Marcus, I know it looks bad, all right? Yes, Lisa is my lady, but I did- You're really gonna keep denying this? I got a copy of the real will from the notary, the will that dad actually signed, and it's clear that I'm getting everything. Okay. Marcus, you gotta understand, it wasn't my idea to do this. Stop acting innocent, all right? Lisa's already confessed to everything. They have her in custody, and she's probably never gonna be able to practice law again. You, you, Lisa's in custody? Does that mean that you're, you're gonna put me in jail? I mean, what do you think was gonna happen, Jacob? You don't understand, all right? I, I, I never wanted it to go this far. I tried to stop it. You see? I was venting to Lisa when dad was sick and telling her about her childhood. He's not doing good, you know. And the worst part is, I, I, I don't even know if I want to see him, you know? Like, the, the man has hated me my entire life, you know? Uh, I mean, how am I supposed to go see a guy like that? You know, I'm probably the last person he wants to see. I know it's tough. Just try not to be so hard on yourself. I mean, you said it yourself. He's never been nice to you. Yeah, I know. 
Maybe I should just be the bigger man. Who knows if I'm even gonna have another chance to see him again. Has he asked you to stop by? No. Or apologized? This man is on his deathbed and has never once said sorry for how he treated you. He should be begging you to see him. This man obviously has no remorse. Weren't you just telling me that you asked him for money? And he said no. Mm -hmm. But he had no problem when Marcus asked him. Yeah, there's no surprise there. He's probably gonna give Marcus everything he has when he goes, no. and you nothing. No, he's definitely gonna do that. My whole life, I have never been good enough for him. Hey, I love Marcus more. He emotionally abused and traumatized you. I could pursue legal action. I could help you. Like, they sue my father? I could never do that. What if there was a way that we could get the inheritance that you deserve, that we deserve? We are going to be a family after all. What do you mean by that? I could offer to help your dad with his will. And maybe after he signs it, I could just move some documents around and nobody would ever know. I really don't think that would work. It's really hard to get my dad's trust, and if I told him that my girlfriend could help him with his will, he would just be suspicious. Well, and everyone would know that you and I are connected. Well, what if he didn't have to know that it was me? What if you just told me where he hangs out? And I was a nice, friendly stranger. I uh, struck up a conversation with him. And when he finds out that I'm an attorney who helps seniors with their wills, he's gonna think it's fate. I mean, old people love fate, right? Nobody would know that we're connected. I don't know. I don't know if I could do that. But you do know that he owes you something, right? I mean, he emotionally abused you. Okay, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go that far. But yeah, he hurt me. Don't forget that you're the victim here, Jacob. I don't want to be mean, but what's your plan? A girl like me can't be dating someone who doesn't bring anything to the table. I, I told you that I'm starting up another business, starting up. <laughs> you got the business? Come on, with what money? I don't know. I could, I could get a bank loan. Or... Who is going to loan you any money when you've already failed twice? I wouldn't even loan you a dollar. With my plan, we would be set. Just think about it. Anyways, I hate thinking about how Amber is thinking about using Dad's money. Uh, okay, I, I don't think Amber is like that, though. I'm mm, sure she isn't. This isn't my first rodeo, Jacob. Whenever someone dies, it's all about the money. I just want you to get what you deserve. 50-50, at least. Okay, I guess when you put it that way, it's not so bad. Exactly. Just imagine it. You can get a new place. We could get engaged. We could start your new business. We could design our bags. <sighs> it's design our bags. You're missing the point. Our lives would change forever. You would be the golden child. You wouldn't have to live in Marcus's shadow anymore. Okay. So you're telling me that you're just going to make sure that everything gets split evenly between Marcus and I? Mm-hmm. And if your dad does what's right and gives you half, I'm not going to have to do anything. And in the case that he doesn't, I fix some things. Mm -hmm. And you get what's yours. 50-50. Okay? Okay. So you see... I told her I wanted to split it 50-50. When Harold read the will out, that was the first time that I heard that I was getting 100%. Honestly, I was planning on telling you all of this. Well, you did it. And regardless, it was still wrong. Yes, I, I know, I know it was wrong, okay? But she got inside my head, man. She, she made me feel like I was the black sheep of the family because, well, I was. I did feel pretty left out of our family. It didn't matter what I did. It was never good enough for dad. I tried to prove to him that I could be successful. No, even when I was a child, Dad gave up on me completely. That's not an excuse for fraud, Jacob. No, okay, I, I know it's not an excuse for fraud, but it wasn't my idea. 
She said that she's done it before and that she can do it again. I just, look, man, even before we did it, I tried to back out at least a thousand times, but she wouldn't let me, man. I swear. Okay, you have to believe me. Well, I don't. I don't really believe anything that you say. Okay, just, Marcus, look, look. All right, see all these packages here? She bought them all with dad's money. She hustled me, man. I, I swear, you have to believe me. Okay, I'm an idiot. That part is true. But I, I never wanted it to go this far. Mm-hmm. Sure, nice try. I'm sure you bought all those fancy little things for Lisa. No. You know what? Dad warned me. Marcus, come on, man. Jean jacket. Come on. The other right to remain silent. Uh, Anything you say can and will be used yeah. against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Do you understand the rights that were just read to you? Yeah. Marcus, please don't do this. You know what makes me real sad? I begged Dad to give you half. Dad is right. You don't deserve anything. You are a rotten egg. Take him away. Marcus, come on, please. Oh, Marcus, I am your brother. Come on, you can't do this to me. You are my brother. Marcus, come on, please. Marcus, tell him not to press charges on me, man. Come on. Ah. Is everything all right, honey? Sorry, I guess I'm just not that hungry. I don't think you've eaten all day. I guess I just have a lot on my mind. I, I still can't believe I put my own brother in jail. My own brother. I just feel like I lost my whole family. Sorry. Who can that be? And that's Harold. He called earlier. He wants to go over the will again. But I'll tell him now it's not a good time, okay? Okay. Hi, Harold. Hi, Amber. I'm sorry. I apologize. I know you came a long way. Marcus isn't in the mood to discuss business right now. Can we just give you a call and just arrange something later? Sure. Thank you. Amber, it's okay. Harold, come on in. You sure? Yeah. I'll make sure I keep it short. Okay. Let me get these things out your way, okay? I'm sorry you had to go through all this. In all my years, I have never seen anything like this. I'm just glad we got the real will. I'll make sure all the assets get transferred to your account ASAP. Oh, consider this a down payment. Lisa's ring. Yeah, Lisa's ring. Well, it was bought with your father's money, so it belongs to you. I don't know why, but I just feel absolutely horrible about this deal. Don't. I found out from some friends at the department that Lisa's been under investigation for a long time. Turns out this wasn't her first time doing this. Not even close. So Jacob wasn't lying about any of this? I mean, it, he did say this was all Lisa's idea. Certainly looks that way. The investigator's a friend of mine, so I got a copy of Lisa's text messages. She was the one persuading Jacob. He tried to back out several times, but she wouldn't let him. And that's probably because she knew there was a lot in it for her, like that ring. That cost a pretty penny. Yeah, the purses and who knows what else. Jacob was telling the truth. Look, your brother seemed to be easily manipulated by her. I mean, it kind of makes sense. Sometimes that happens when people feel like 
They don't have anybody else who loves them. Look, I, I gotta get down to the station and meet with the prosecutor. You guys gonna be all right? Y yeah, we'll be fine, right? We'll be fine. Yeah. Harold. Thank you. Of course, you know you do. I'll be in touch. Unlock cell 259. Let's go, Davis. You're free to leave. Wait. Wait, I, I don't understand. Who would... Marcus. Can you give us a second? Yeah, yeah sure. Thanks. Wait, you, you bailed me out? <sighs> Better yet. Harold convinced the DA not to press any charges. They reviewed the text messages. They saw that Lisa was behind everything. I, I, I don't know what to say. I, I just, I feel terrible about everything. I know that I have made some really bad decisions in my life, and I know that this is by far the biggest one. I would completely understand if you never want to talk to me again. Look, I'm upset, but I'm not gonna not ever speak to you again. Despite everything that's happened, you're still my brother. Your family's forever. Yeah. I love you. I really do. Me too. Let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah. I just, I don't know exactly where I'm gonna go. I lost my girlfriend. I lost my apartment. I've, I've lost absolutely everything. It's not true, man. Open it. What is this? that dad gave me 50 50 we'll figure the rest out later no I, I i appreciate this but dad wanted you to have it you should respect his wishes i'm not giving it to you i'm investing in you what does that mean i heard you're starting a new business consider me your equal partner dad said i can do whatever i want with my money i'm investing in you I, I don't know what else to say, but you are the best brother anyone could ever ask for. <laughs> and it make you proud. I know you will, because you know what they say, third time's a charm, right? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Come on, let's get out of here. Yeah, okay, all right. Stop. No, get, stop, 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 I see business is going pretty well, huh? Yeah. Can you believe that this is actually our third location? Oh, and you are going to be shocked when you see this. What's up? So, an investment group actually approached me about turning this whole concept into a franchise. Apparently, the demand for arcades like this is booming, and they want to help us open up locations all around the country. Nice. We talked about expanding into food and beverage, uh, tournaments, house parties. It's, they have a huge vision for it. <laughs> Jacob, I'm really happy for you. Happy for us. Ah. 50-50, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, uh, there's someone I want you to meet. This is my girlfriend, Abby. We just started dating. Hi, Abby. <laughs> nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you, Abby. Nice to meet you, too. I've heard so many great things. Uh, I hope so. <laughs> Um, once I finish sleeping, we'll get lunch. Oh, yes, please. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you guys. Bye. Thanks, babe. Mm, super cute. Wow, <laughs> she seems nice. Come yeah. on, oh, man, I'm working. She is, <laughs> she's amazing, all right? And unlike Lisa, she actually helps me out instead of just taking advantage of me all the time. Wow, I don't even know who you are anymore, man. So I take you over Lisa? Oh, oh yeah. Turns out I wasn't the only guy in her life. She was running that scam on a bunch of other people. So, thank you for helping me dodge a bullet. Hey, I got your back, bro. But this time, if you plan to propose, be sure to tell me ahead of time. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Proposing is the last thing I have on my mind. To be honest, I just want to focus on growing the business. Right. Speaking of which, did you know that we did over 250,000 in sales last month? Oh. 
<laughs> wow. Really? He added food deliveries and it just took off. 250K? Yep. That's how much I'm making a year. <laughs> well, it turns out you're an entrepreneur after all, Jacob. I'm proud of you. Yeah. I guess I am. I just wish Dad could see this. I know. I know. Me too. But I gotta say, if Dad was here, he would have been so proud of the man that you become, Jacob. Yeah. Who would have thought? You're now the golden child. So I have a dream to start a business where I take used clothes, make them cute, and then sell them. Do not tell me that you shop at the thrift store. It's for me to sell. No one's gonna wanna buy your used trash. You do what you love, money will always follow.